It's me again, guys. So today, me and my mom are going to my apartment. I moved out at the beginning of January. <laughs> also, I removed my extensions, and it's so weird to not have like thicker, longer hair right now. So I touch my hair a lot, and I'm sorry for that. Whenever my hair is down, I touch my hair so goddamn much. And I don't know, I just think if my hair is flat, I just look horrible. If my hair has a little volume, ah! Okay, this was just messy, but I swear, volume, volume. <laughs> if I have some more volume in my hair, I look just so much like, I don't know what to say, like skinnier, I guess. I don't know. It just looks way better. Yeah, anyways, um, I'm going to my apartment in Oslo to get some things because I'm staying here longer because of the corona situation going on. I think it's better if I can, you know, quarantine here with my family instead of being all alone in my apartment. I also really want to go for a little walk later today because I, I don't know, I've been obsessed with it. I really have. I love to just go for a walk and sing. I know, I need to, I, I literally have my airpods in and I sing. Ooh. But it is what it is. It is what it is, bitch. Also, I am putting my extensions back in. I loved, loved having extensions. I think like my first real celebrity obsession was Enrique Iglesias. <laughs> oh, I'm obsessed with him. I love him so goddamn much. Oh, I've been sending him DMs for literally so long. But it's not in like a I want to be your girlfriend way. Like, of course, I would want to be his girlfriend. But it's more of like a, hey, your music has helped me through a lot. Even though it hasn't. It hasn't? It haven't. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, whatever. But I, I do love his music for real. So I was obsessed with Enrique Iglesias. And I found the cringiest <laughs> snaps <laughs> from like 2017. So f***ing cringy, guys. Also, someone someone really had the nerve to say to me, like, Oh, you swear a lot, bitch. Okay. <laughs> um, also, literally purple. Oh, the mess in my shower, was that necessary? <laughs> I'm like, come on, guys, let's have a look. This is my OOTD, so I'm, of course, wearing my... Just a couture purple um, tracksuit. I'm wearing this coat that is vintage. And I did this with the uh, butterfly clips. Oh my god, I need lip gloss. I need lip gloss. I hope we're stopping someplace so I can go get a soda. Alright, and then what are you drinking during the day? Sodies. It's so fucking hot outside. Or it's, you know... <laughs> liar or i don't know if it's lying i'm probably just like a hypocrite or i'm a liar but i do look cute and that is not a lie <laughs> that was so funny oh, i'm joking i'm so fucking god what i was trying to say it's hot outside to be this time of year okay i'm in my apartment i forgot my camera in the car so i'm just doing it for my phone oh it's so cute here I'm so excited to show you guys how it looks. I'm gonna show you guys a sneak peek. The only thing missing is some pictures here. But I'm getting that soon. The window situation is also really cool. It's window in the roof. How adorable. I forgot I had these glasses, but I'm bringing them back. How cool. This is also my little walk-in closet. It's not really... Done. Oh, I need to bring my Nintendo Switch. Hey, I'm back home. That was a really quick visit. I think I'm going for a little walk. This isn't I like my quarantine days. I like going for walks. So I hope you guys will enjoy doing that with me. I love to go for a walk, listen to music, sing. So I love to go places where no one else is um, because I, I love literally, it's so freeing to just go for a walk and be like, hit the lights. So that's what we're gonna do.
Broken Hearted Girl by Beyonce is also so good. Oh, come on, focus. <gasps> no. Oh, I fixed it, guys. So scared to go for walks here, especially alone, because right here where I walk right now, it's just so fucking scary because I feel like if I'm ever gonna, gonna get gonna get murdered, this it will be here. I feel like I'm gonna hike. <laughs> I don't know what a hike is, but I know that everyone in like LA do, does it. But I don't know what a hike is. I think it's just like going for, going for a walk. I'm on a hike. <laughs> My brother is actually down here, so maybe he can drive me home. I'm gonna try to like walk out of here. I don't know if that's a good idea, but I'm wearing my moon boots, so I think it's okay. Okay guys, so I'm home and I really wanna go through some of my childhood pictures. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna bring you guys along. That's cute, it's funny. There's literally almost no pictures. <gasps> Oh my god, I remember this. I got literally... Oh, I can't show the pictures because I don't know if she would want me to show the pictures of her. But I got a friend when I was in Turkey. Um, the hotel I was at was called Han Hotel. If you know someone called Dina, hit me the fuck up because I need to find her because we were like besties on this vacation. I remember seeing her on like the bus um, to the hotel. I was like, oh wow, she's so pretty. I want to be your friend. Oh, she was such an icon. Literally, where is she? Oh, I miss her. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh my god. Oh my god, what an icon. I was such a cute kid. Literally just me chilling. Oh. I think this is from like 2000 and... Hmm. 14, 13, something like that. I was probably, probably like 12. I was probably 13. Yeah, we were in Mallorca. Literally me. I was so tan. What an icon. I was just living my best life. Oh my God, I was dancing in the streets. I was just dancing in the streets with the, with the audience. Just like the moment. I miss this. I love water. <gasps> this is the story time I've been wanting to tell you guys. So this picture, we were on vacation. I was probably 13 here. First of all, the most cringy thing happened. I took, my, my father just took like iPad pictures and I was in the corner of the picture and I literally posted on Instagram and I was like, oh, paparazzis are so annoying. <laughs> and I was like, I, I thought people thought I had paparazzis when I was like 12. Or like 13, I don't know. Anyways, that weren't the story I was gonna tell. I remember this. Just just picture this. This little girly. My mom and dad did not allow me to have Facebook, but I made one. So I was probably 12 because 13 was like the age thing. But I made a Facebook account and I don't know. I think my name was like Emma something, not Ellingson, but something else. And I remember that night I thought someone saw that I had a Facebook profile so I was so scared the entire night and I was like <laughs> iconic this was also me that night such an icon I was so sunburned I was such a cute kid oh I look like a puppy anyways I think that's it talk to you later <laughs> thank you for watching smiley face hope you enjoyed the video remember to follow my Instagram at Emma Ellingson see you soon bye